2023 Nissan Ria Interior and Exterior Design Review Hello and welcome everyone to our channel, Latest Luxury Cars, and in this video, we are going to review about the 2023 Nissan Raya. Here we go! Nissan is expanding its electric car lineup with the 2023 Aria SUV, which will go on sale in the United States in autumn 2022. The Aria will join the Leaf hatchback in Nissan showrooms, offering up to 304 miles of driving range, which is more than the Leaf's maximum of 226 miles. The Arias design departs from Nissan's typical harsh, angular features featured on many of their cars. The Arias low, wide stance distinguishes it from the Rogue and provides it a sportier appearance. There will be two battery capacities available, a 63.0 kWh basic battery and an optional 87.0 kWh pack, as well as front or all-wheel drive, a slew of driver assist systems, infotainment technology, and convenience amenities will be included, allowing the 2022 Araya to compete with similarly sized EV crossovers like the Tesla Model Y and Hyundai Kona Electric. However, once inside, the Araya seems like a much larger SUV. The open area between the power sliding center console and firewall, as well as the low dash, sloped windscreen, virtually flat floor, and open space between the power sliding center console and firewall, give the interior a light and airy feel. Buttons are reduced to a minimum, and the haptic controls underneath the multimedia panel are lighted, illuminating the open poor wood crisply. That attention to detail is what distinguishes the Aurea. The entertainment system's USB ports are located on the bottom front of the console. Out of the way, and Nissan built this enclosure so that the wire may be neatly wrapped around the base. To the left of the glove box is a concealed cubby that can be electronically opened and closed, ready to contain items such as a phone or wallet, and then hidden from view. The two-spoke steering wheel allows you to see all the way down to your feet, and the single line of copper trim that separates the air vents is stunning. All of this, along with smooth leather and Nissan's zero-gravity ergonomic seats, results in a gorgeous interior. According to rumors, the Aria was intended to be an Infiniti, and it shows. The Aria is significant for Nissan. It is the focal point of its rebirth, with the carmaker aiming for higher earnings from more interesting vehicles. It's also another entry in the trendiest market right now, mid-size electric crossovers. With it comes competition from nearly everyone else, so Nissan must get this one right. It did, for the most part. Despite indications that Nissan lacks the R&D resources of other global manufacturers, this is the most compelling new product from the Japanese corporation in some time. Nissan is proud of its relatively lengthy history with EVs, with the Leaf being the first successful mass-market electric car on the market for 11 years. Yet one wonders what took the firm so long to expand its EV options. It might have been the first to the electric crossover party, but even EV-averse Toyota arrived first. Nonetheless, the Aria arrives at an excellent time, and it should be far more attractive to American consumers than the wacky Leaf. Engine transmission and performance. Unlike the Leaf, which only has front-wheel drive, Nissan is leveraging technology established in other vehicles, such as the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split System to provide optional all-wheel drive via a dual front add rear electric motor combination. The front-wheel drive variant, we drove reached 60 mph in 7.5 seconds, but the all-wheel drive Aria should be far faster. Nissan claims that the Venture Plus has a driving range of up to 304 miles per charge, which is significantly more than the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. The Evolve Plus and Power Plus and Premier versions are rated for up to 289 miles per charge, while the Platinum Plus is rated for up to 265. Choosing the base and gauge trim means sacrificing range owing to the smaller battery pack, which is rated for only 216 miles per charge. On 75 MPA Highway Fuel Efficiency Route, we measured a 240 mile range with a front wheel drive and power plus model. The Aria will be able to charge at home using 110 or 240 volt outlets, 
as well as at public charging stations and DC fast charging ports. The most fuel-efficient Araya, according to the EPA, is the Venture Plus model, which gets 111 MPEG City and 95 MPEG Highway. The Evolve Plus, Empower Plus, and Premier Trims, on the other hand, are rated for 105 MPEG City and 91 MPEG's highway. In person, it's a startling object that looks almost identical to the Aria idea of 2019. Nissan mastered the traditional concept car design, cleverly concealing the car's attraction with a black roof and chrome trim line. The design team also earns marks for fully utilizing the design freedom afforded by a specialized EV platform. Stretching the wheels out to the corners and shifting the cabin forward, to create a futuristic appearance and increase internal space. A low hood with creases over the wheel arches also provides the driver with excellent sight lines. Overall, it's a pretty great power plant, but the rest of the driving experience is not nearly as refined. The area seems underdamped, with the car upset by tiny and large surface changes. The Nissan seemed to cause high-frequency bumps that were not present previously on one specific route I did travel before in a much older car. The brake pedal is worth mentioning. The brakes on hybrids and electric vehicles used to feel strange since the foot control both regenerative braking from the motors and pad meets disc friction braking. Many manufacturers have worked to make their blended brake pedals seem like traditional systems, but Nissan has not and the Araya's left pedal has an odd, spongy sensation. Of course, the car brakes absolutely fine. It simply does not seem like the pedal is attached to a mechanical mechanism. Nissan claims that the high-powered one, with torque vectoring, contains GTR genes. We think that a macaque has the genes of a Top Gear car critic. But since this is a coupe crossover, it should drive sportily. And based on the front driver, it has more energy than some of its plodding competitors. Shifting direction with mild excitement, the E4 Ors version feels much more assured, and you can feel the torque vectoring working for you. Interior and exterior features. The inside of the area appears modern and simple. Nissan has removed every button possible in search of a smooth dashboard that favors a streamlined appearance to match the outside design. Despite Nissan's promise that the Arroyo's cabin is unlike any other cars, its minimalistic theme appears to be its only distinguishing feature. Not that the cabin is not a pleasant place to be. A flat, low floor gives the inside a roomy feel, and Nissan has included its comfortable zero-gravity seats into the design. The back seat area is notably less generous than the front, but it is still comfortable and spacious enough for a couple of people to go long distances. The digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen are both shown on dual 12.3-inch monitors. Standard amenities include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and in-dash navigation. There is also wireless smartphone charging and a head-up display. The infotainment system includes Amazon Alexa, as well as a built-in voice assistant. It's minimalist on the inside, but not obtusely so with haptic climate control buttons built into the panel below the infotainment screen, is especially interesting. Normally, haptic controls are a catastrophe, but these work nicely, demanding a solid push and offering decent feedback. The acceleration is moderated off the line, so there's no Tesla-style force. You back into your seat action if you stamp on it from a standstill. Instead, power increases like it would in a gas engine. And by the time you are traveling at roughly 40 MPa, accelerator pedal responsiveness is more in line with what we have come to anticipate from EVs. Propilot 2.0 Nissan's second version of Propilot driver assistance technology is available as an option on the Aria. In some driving conditions, the technology allows drivers to withdraw their hands from the wheel. And, in our experience, it works rather effectively. Visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for highway safety websites for additional information on the ARIA's crash test results. The following are important safety features. Automatic emergency braking with pedestrian recognition is standard. Lane departure warning with lane keeping assistance is standard. 
Adaptive cruise control with lane centering is available. Thank you everyone for watching our video till the end. Please subscribe to our channel, Latest Luxury Cars, and stay tuned for more.